Hello, and thanks for joining us in the Toyota Solutions studio. Joining me now is Andrea Shrestha. She's the co-founder of Luminade. Andrea, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So Luminade, you and your co-founder developed this solar-powered inflatable light. Tell us how you came up with the idea. So we were actually students in graduate school. Um, we were in architecture school and it was just after the Haiti earthquake and like everyone else we were seeing stories on the news and reading the newspaper about all the struggles that people had after that event and one of the things that we realized is people had didn't have light after mm. dark and it was very unsafe and people were afraid and so we came up with our idea for a light that didn't need any batteries, it was safe, sustainable, um, and the idea to make it pack flat was so that you could distribute it in the large numbers after a disaster like that. It's so flat, you've got it in your hand and we barely noticed. So <laughs> um, explain to us uh, how it works. What's the technology that's inside? Yeah, so this is the solar panel and it charges in seven to 10 hours of sunlight. Okay. And then there's a rechargeable battery, similar to what's in your cell phone or any gadget and then LED lights, and there's a valve, and normally you would blow it up. This, this version of it also kind of twists flat, and then ah. just, um, so for seven to 10 hours, you get up to um, 12 hours of light on this one, but we have different versions of it where you can get up to 30 hours of light if you need. And it's waterproof? Yes, it's waterproof, it floats, and then when you're charging it, you can just pack it down like this, so a lot of people just like clip them to their backpacks, charge them on the go, um, Why did you decide to make it inflatable? What's that the was, benefit of that? So it's the, the inflatable parts of our lights are like the diffusers. So if it didn't have this cover, you'd see like an extra bright glare of the LED lights. Mm -hmm. And then it also makes them waterproof and they float. Gotcha. But it's kind of like any cover you see, like a lampshade basically. Okay. How's this particularly well suited to disaster zones? I mean, we, we know that it pack flat, packs flat, but the other features? Well, it's... I mean, primarily when disasters happen in a lot of places in the world, a lot of people aren't as prepared as they would probably have liked to be. And so even things like batteries, um, or like flashlights that have batteries that work, um, sometimes can be hard to find. And so with this, you don't have anything that you need. All you need is the sun to charge it. So it's all in one and then there's no additional like moving parts. You don't have to plug it in or anything like that. And wear and tear is not going to be too uh, abusive on this. Yeah, actually, you know, it's funny. Like we would have thought that, that that would have come up as an issue more, but our lights on the flip side, like they don't have anything that can really break or if you dropped them, they're like kind of like they just bounce back up. Yeah. Yeah. So they've been, they've survived a lot of tough situations. So the product has kind of found a home beyond Haiti, right? Um, and <laughs> on Shark Tank even. <laughs> so tell us about uh, the uses that uh, people are using this for. Yeah, we have a lot of um, customers that buy them for camping, uh, like all sorts of outdoor activities, hiking, even things that involve water because they're waterproof and they float, so like kayaking. And then also a lot of people who buy them just for their own personal home emergency preparedness kits or they keep them in their cars. Um, in addition to all the stuff we've done like elsewhere around the world and people who use these in other countries. but Tell us the countries that are where it's being used. Haiti obviously was used there. Yeah, so, well we actually have a program that we run through our website called Give Light, Get Light, which is like people can buy lights for themselves or their friends and family and then they can sponsor a light to be don that we donate to a charity somewhere in the world. And through that program we've done just about 25,000 lights in projects in more than 50 countries. So, mm. yeah, taking these lights all over the world. How did Toyota's recognition of <coughs> Luminate help you grow the company? What were you able to do? Oh my God, it was huge. I mean, when we received the grant from Toyota, <coughs> excuse me, three years ago um, at the Mothers of Invention, or yeah, it was three years ago. It's like my memory's kind of fading, but That's okay. um, at the at the summit, I mean, first of all, it just gave us exposure to all sorts of amazing people doing amazing things. So that's always inspiring. Um, you know, you take that back with you wherever you go. I think when you see the stories of some of the people who are on the stage here, and even just the funding for a new business, I mean, that was huge because we, at that point, I mean, it was just my business partner and I working. You were in startup mode. Right, and then, you know, funding like what Toyota gave us enabled us to grow our team and really take things to the next level. So it was a huge kind of launching pad for us. Um, and the design has changed over time. What future plans do you have for either this product or a new product? Um, well, so we, we're constantly making versions of these solar lights that pack flat with different performance parameters. So this is just one of our, one of our models by now, but we're working on a lot of new 
um, new ideas for higher powered charging items, um, all solar, but and all kind of with certain types of customers or situations in mind. Um, so we should be launching a lot of new stuff in this next year. And then what do you hope to uh, accomplish by being back at Women, the, Women in the World? Do you, um, I mean, it's kind of intangible, right? You, you come here and you don't expect to meet people that spark ideas, but what's your hope? Yeah, well, I mean, it's always great to be back, and Toyota's really great about getting all the mothers of invention back together, so by now we have a little kind of network, and everybody is kind of experiencing great things, so it's great to just catch up with everyone, exchange ideas, and, um, and learn from each other. Um, do you find yourself to be in the minority as uh, you, you and your co-founder, you're both women, um, you know, I'm based in Silicon Valley, I'm based in San Francisco, so I see, I meet a lot of people who are running startups and it's, it's a lot of, um, it's a primarily men. Yeah. There are more and more women who are getting into it, but um, do, do you find yourself that you're in the minority and was that difficult for you trying to launch your startup being two women? Yeah, we, I mean, we're definitely in the minority. I think that's true across all sectors of business, but um, at the same time, like, you know, we've embraced it and we enjoy being an example, I think, to other, like, young women and girls who are thinking about doing something themselves. So that's kind of, I mean, whatever we can do to, to set the tone for somebody else who might be thinking about doing something, it makes it very worthwhile. Um, do you have, you're in school right now, how do you manage it all with, um, you're wrapping up school, you've been in school for a while, all the while you've been running this company as well, how do you manage your time? Well, <laughs> very, like, it, some days better than others, but um, actually, I mean, these days I have a great team and like so much great help and support behind us, including, you know, Toyota, the Toyota team, and, and so I think they make it, they make it a lot easier than I think it could have been, so I'm very lucky. Um, well, thank you so much for uh, being with us. We appreciate your time and for bringing one of the Luminate lights for oh, us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me.